Tonight, Hawthorne based SpaceX successfully launched the first all tourist crew into orbit. And they will spend three days traveling in space. And while this crew is making history, they're also helping to raise money mm -hmm. for a good cause. Correspondent Mark Strassman has details tonight from the Kennedy Space Center. Inspiration 4's crew blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida and into space history Wednesday night. Everything continues to be good. The commercial flight was the first for Elon Musk's SpaceX with no professional astronauts on board. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Simon Proctor give us a two thumbs up. <laughs> on the launch tower high above pad 39A, Jared Isaacman, the mission commander, showed us their walkway to the cosmos back in May. Well, this is where the rocket launches. The billionaire I mean, chartered the flight. Price tag reportedly around $200 million. This is a first. That's significance. That's responsibility. Responsibility being the first that there will be a second and a third. Absolutely. You have to get this one right for all the other great missions to follow. For three days, they'll orbit the Earth, soaring some 360 miles above the planet, about 100 miles higher than the International Space Station. A custom-built cupola in the SpaceX capsule will give them hemispheric views of Earth and deep space. It's next-level space tourism, beyond billionaire Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos' quick flights to the edge of space. Inspiration 4's flight is also a charity drive for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. St. Jude saved my life. Crew member Haley Arsenault's a physician assistant at St. Jude. When she was 10, the hospital treated her for bone cancer. So we're going to call the St. Jude patients from space. And I think it's really going to show them what they're capable of. SpaceX trained the four civilian crew members for almost six months. Mark Strassman at the Kennedy Space Center. Two contest winners are also on board, including pilot Chian Proctor, who is the first ever black female.